The recent severe cold weather serves as a timely reminder of the dangers of the homelessness crisis in the U.S. Fox's Alexandria Hoff is back and speaks with the leader of the Biden administration's effort to reduce homelessness by 25 percent in two years. I came from a, a paying a, for a two bedroom, 2200 a month, barely making 15 an hour, working 40 plus hours. So, you know, I lost all of that, had to come here. For two months now, Sid has been living in a tent just two blocks from the White House. The Biden administration released an ambitious plan to reduce homelessness by 25 percent by the start of 2025. We need to be moving with urgency right now to get people stabilized, but we also need to close the gap on affordable housing. Jeff Olivet leads the agency that developed the plan. He said it will provide federal support for localities where the issue has reached a crisis level with an emphasis on racial equity. Since the start of the pandemic, the crisis of homelessness has become more visible with the rise of encampments. They've become a major point of contention within urban communities. In many cases, they are cleared only for the tents to return again. When all we do is just sweep the problem away and cross our fingers, clear an encampment and hope it goes well, it is almost inevitably going to come back. Shelters were stretched thin this weekend as temperatures plunged across the country. In New York City, Mayor Eric Adams has called it inhumane to allow the homeless to remain on the streets in frigid conditions. A judge ruled this month that he can continue with a policy that would forcibly hospitalize mentally ill homeless individuals. The Biden administration's plan does not include forced intervention, but it does call for teaching shelters how to provide gender-affirming services to the homeless in an effort to encourage more people overall to seek help. It's a lot of people prefer to be out here. Glenn Mackle knows he had spent 30 years living on the streets. That's in past tense because with the help of an outreach group, he just days ago got a place of his own. It's a big change because... I'm not used to being in my apartment by myself. In Washington, Alexandria Hoff, Fox News.